All right, hi everybody. We're hi back guys. here again. I'm with Kat and Carice, our wonderful senior designers here at the Lavina Phillips Design Studio. And yeah, in case you hadn't realized, we just launched a course. So Yay! we're yeah, <laughs> having a party. We're gonna really like pop champagne and going crazy. But yeah, so we've just released our finally after yeah, so yeah. long. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's such a relief to finally, when you work on something for such a long period of time, to finally yeah. show you guys, because we've had so many questions about it and we felt so bad having to be like, oh, hold on, hold on, we'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> we finally have, and they're here. So yeah, our Photoshop for textile design courses, both illustration and watercolor are finally ready for you guys to purchase and have a go and enjoy. Yeah. And it's taught by these two lovely ladies here. And yeah, so we've had a lot of questions about them, which I wanted to just quickly address right before we get started into talking about our Photoshop, favorite Photoshop tools. Um, we just, yeah, we have a lot of questions about what's in the courses and whether they're, like people will actually find them useful and what the edge, what edge they have on other courses that are available nowadays. And it's just, it's as simple as they literally have every single step that we actually take in the studio to get our designs ready for production. Mm -hmm. So it's not a curated set of steps that people, some people will release because it's, you know, they're giving you a little taste. We're giving you everything. Yeah, we basically are taking you like from start to finish of design in Photoshop, which is like, yeah, and best practice scenarios mm -hmm. and just how to make your work look really polished and professional. Mm -hmm. um, so just those sneaky little tricks along the way and yeah. design tips as well. So, yeah. so things that we've found helpful oh and yeah. that we use every day. Yeah, so. and it's very, they're very intricate too. Like I, I'm self-taught in Photoshop. So coming here, I was like, oh, okay, I'm a sponge and I can learn as much as I can. And I thought that I, I knew enough to get by and then I was post-production, I was going through the videos to like upload them and get them ready for you guys. And I learned so much, I can't remember just saying that. I was going through it and it was slightly embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should have known that, oh my gosh. And there were so many things I was like, okay, I'm gonna write that down for later. Don't tell anybody that yeah. I know. Sometimes but, yeah. it's those little things that yeah. you just pick up from someone. Yeah. Like if you're in the studio, you pick it up from each other. Mm -hmm. Or like yeah. hopefully there's little things that, you know, that just make your work that little bit refined yeah totally yeah. and yeah they're very very detailed they cover so much and we were talking before about how you know when we have newcomers that come into the studio whether they're um, designers themselves or whether they're you know interns that are coming for work experience we'd love to show them this it's literally what we do step by step so we're going to teach the people that come into our studio to work with us how we work step by step and we're giving that to you as well yeah it's so like a great resource yeah, yeah like paying it forward we've... kind of a thing we just want to share everything that we know with you guys because it's just it's a nice thing to do yeah so yeah um the link's in the bio if you want to have a look at the courses we love them we're proud of them we spend a lot of time on them yes so, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's definitely good to be able to share them now at the mm -hmm. end of like we've taken it this far yeah. <laughs> and then we're, it's a labor we're of putting love. them yeah. in the world totally, so, totally. Um, yeah. and these guys did an amazing job they're very calm they take you through a beautiful <laughs> It made me feel calm. I'm sitting there going, oh, I'm so zen right now. That's great. So yeah, it's a great course. I loved watching through them, so hopefully you guys enjoy them. And if you bought them and you like them, please let us know, because we'd love to hear all about how you went with them and see what you've gotten up to, because Photoshop can be tricky and overwhelming. And that's what we're here to talk about today, some tools that we love so much. Nice segue. And yeah, so take it away. What's our first favorite Photoshop tool? Well, the first one um, we're going to mention today is the Spot Healing Brush, um, which we particularly use in the watercolor um, Photoshop course because it's great for your painted elements. Mm -hmm. And really, it's one of the beauties of Photoshop is that you can have these little shortcuts. So just say your painting is not perfect, no you can always fix mm -hmm. it later in yeah. Photoshop, mm -hmm. which is a great thing to know, you know, that saves you time. Mm -hmm. And also it means you just have to fuss less while you're painting. So yeah. you can just- Takes the pressure off. Yeah. 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 So, you know, with the fast turnaround and just getting the best out of your elements, mm -hmm. I think that the spot healing brush is my little fave. Yes. Um, yeah, it's kind of, taken over from yeah. the clone stamp for me. Yeah, yeah. the trusty clone all stamp. all the time. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I think you, there are other tools that do the same mm -hmm. thing, like the clone stamp, yeah. but the spot healing brush kind of does it so much quicker. Yeah. It's so fast, yeah. it's just yeah. like a ding, ding. So you can just yeah. go around your artwork <laughs> yeah. and you're just like mm -hmm. touching it up. 
yeah yeah it's mm -hmm. yeah it's a good one i feel like clone tools are the safety option you always go to clone tool and you get stuck yeah. in the ones that you like using mm -hmm. but then sometimes you get like i learned about spot healing not even that long ago and i was like yeah. oh my gosh yeah, it's really <laughs> so good, good. Yeah. so yeah it's a really good one yeah because mm -hmm. i tend to when i paint to not fuss too much like just try to keep it really loose mm -hmm. and gestural and stuff and then you, you know sometimes you just get these funny little yeah bits of pigment mm -hmm. or you know little marks or specks on your page and so things like that you can just clean them up so easily so you don't have to worry about it mm -hmm. as you're painting yeah so, yeah that's my, my favorite at the moment yeah. <laughs> um the other one we thought we'd mention is it seems really obvious but the eraser tool um obviously everyone's out mistakes which is another great thing in photoshop <laughs> you need that you know it controls yeah. it all the way i wish we had it in life yeah but um the eraser, I particularly like to use it for actually separating my elements. Like it seems a little bit fussy and might be a little bit more time consuming, but then you get a really nice mm -hmm. refined edge and you just get a bit more control over your work. So again, particularly um, for painted elements, but for illustration as well. Mm -hmm. um, There's always little bits. Yeah, and you, it's worth spending and, the time yeah. at that point and just getting like a really nice edge. Yeah. 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 And I. I do the same thing as Kat, so like kind of manually refining and defining those edges. And like I actually use the lasso tool, so I use the lasso to trace around the elements and then erase out the background because mm -hmm. I find that's really good to get into all of those like little nooks and those tiny yeah. little corners that can be really hard to get into. Mm -hmm. If you just go in with the lasso, you can kind of manually define and draw those lines and you make sure that your element is looking really clean and that yeah, exactly. the lines are really nice. Yeah. So you can do the same thing, like get the same mm -hmm. result in multiple ways. And so it's just really your personal preference. Like we're really after the same result. Yeah. Um, we both yeah. do it like slightly yeah, differently. Just slightly differently. Yeah. yeah. And I think to that point as well, another tool that's really handy that I feel like is kind of worth talking about is the zoom tool. Yes, so when you definitely. are like, yeah, cleaning your elements, just making sure that you're zoomed in either to actual size mm -hmm. or sometimes when you're in those really fiddly bits, like zooming really close in so that it's larger than actual size. It just makes it easier for you to kind of get yeah. in, make sure that those lines are clean, that you've yeah. got everything that you want, mm -hmm. and then just zooming back out to make sure that it's overall looking nice and when you're working through your layout, mm -hmm. yeah. you can see that the overall flow is nice. So it's really just about zooming in between like really close up to make sure your elements are neat. Mm -hmm. and then stepping away to make sure that you're really happy with the overall look of the design. Yeah, it's worth being a little bit pedantic at the beginning because yeah. you're going to save your t time down the track. Uh -huh. So yeah. Yeah. it seems yeah. a little bit crazy, like constantly zooming in and then zooming out and you feel like you're breaking the, you know, the command keys. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's worth it just to go in and just have a final look because it's so surprising sometimes something tiny yeah. that you yeah. don't notice till you zoom in so far can actually be so visible later on. Yeah, and if so, you don't yeah. catch that at mm. the start and then you've done your layout and you've duplicated it all over the page mm. and then you have to go Gosh. in and change that for every single photo. And clean the whole design <laughs> whereas you would have saved yourself so much time at the beginning if you just cleaned it up and then once you've gotten that boring bit out of the way mm -hmm. then you can go crazy and you know exactly. let loose with your yeah. design. Yeah. 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 But at least you know you're working with really nice clean yeah. elements. Yeah. You don't have so, that worry of being like, oh gosh, what if there's something I've missed? Because yeah. you make sure you check. But yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. even like a little isolated spot or something that you might not have seen or you might have yeah. accidentally lassoed part of another element or something mm -hmm. like that. And it's floating yeah. around on yeah, your design. Yeah, those little flips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't notice until you zoom yeah. in. So, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Is that all our favourites? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's plenty yeah. more. Yeah. There's plenty more. <laughs> there's taste. so many. There's, yeah, there's so many tools on Photoshop. But yeah. yeah, those are just, they might seem very obvious, but they are the most commonly used and they are so vital. Like imagine if we didn't have those tools. Yeah, well they what? just make our life so much yeah, easier. Yeah, it would be so difficult. Yeah. So yeah, we hope that you guys learned something or you know, are gonna try a new tool you haven't potentially tried before or wanna explore it further. So yeah, oh and just before we go, just now that I remembered, our these are our beautiful babies and these are our handbooks or textbooks. Yeah that come with the new courses. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see like a little bit further in like what they look like and like what they offer. But we have one for each course and they come with the course and they're the biggest we've ever had. Aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah. Yeah. They're incredibly <laughs> they're really big. They just yeah, went it's on like, and it's on. crazy no, how much is yeah. in here and each page is packed with information and like visual steps. 
And these are perfect, like they're a perfect companion for the video itself. So as you're going through the video, mm -hmm. you stop and start and you go along with the pages and they're time stamped and yeah. yep. these really guys spent so long on them. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really good. Yeah, we really recommend with the course that you like work alongside us. Mm -hmm. So um, it's designed to be kind of broken up into steps as you complete your design as well. And then you can take it through the stages that we guide you through. So I think that's like interesting yeah. to know too. It's yeah, kind definitely. of like a springboard for your own um, yeah. your own design work. Yeah. And in, if you do step by step like that, I guess it's just uh, seeing the yeah. whole design through from start to finish exactly. in the best possible outcome. Yeah, and they can be brought with you anywhere. It's not something where you have to make sure you're watching that video wherever you are in case you need to like refer back. You've got the book. So you can send it to yourself or do whatever you need to do and it'll be there for you. You can skip to whichever section. It's a lot, I feel like it can be a lot easier than going through the video because sometimes that can feel like overwhelming when you're skipping through. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like, Definitely but the just nitty gritty yeah. yeah. yeah, as a quick yeah. reference, it's all there. We've got photos that accompany everything. It's very specific. Maybe is it okay if you guys have a little closer and we can have a little flick through so you guys can see what's, we've got design, like the final design. Every little subheading we mention, it's perfectly synced up to the video itself. So it's everything that you would need, I hope. Like, you know, we put everything into it. So hopefully that's another exciting element about the course that you guys will get. And we'd love to hear your feedback on it if you like the handbook as well. But yeah, there you go. One each, one for each course. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so that's it. We're done chewing your ear up with Photoshop tools. We're finished. Um, please let us know as well in any of the comments. I'm going to be putting this up on YouTube and when it's on, it'll be saved in our Facebook as well. All of our lives get saved there. But um, I'll be putting it up on YouTube and I'm going to insert some cutaways so that you guys can see some of the tools that we've mentioned today in action and you guys can like see how we're talking about them and what we mean when we say the word we mean. But yeah, so that's going to be up there. You can Click the link in our bio if you're wanting to have a look at the course and see what we're you know, talking about, see if it's right for you. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on our YouTube channel. We really, really appreciate it. We're very new at YouTube and that's, yeah, it's very exciting. And I want to thank these lovely ladies for joining me today because they've done an amazing job in the course and they're like amazing and I'm going to ask them about every single tool I don't know about. But yeah, so thanks so much for joining us and we'll be back very soon, hopefully, with another live. Yeah, bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>